love this whole getup. You look so cute. I love this. All right, Storm, are you a huge basketball fan? I am. I am a really big basketball fan. I mean, I'm a fan of Steph, of course. We have worked together in the past, and I'm just so excited to be able to, like, just be here tonight and see all the people that are really cool. And I think sports in general is just something that is awesome if you can do it at the highest level, because I can't. So I'm super inspired by basketball players. I'm sure you could if you put your mind to it. You're a very talented young lady. Um, I do want to talk about Steph because Twitter is going off in a huge debate right now. They okay. can't decide because Steph can shoot from anywhere and uh -huh. score, right? right? Did he ruin the game because of that or did he elevate the game because of that? I think he elevated it Tell because, me I mean, not everybody can do that. So, yeah. and, and like, I think it's a known thing that even players in the M NBA that are great, that are playing at their the highest level, they can't do that. Like, to be coming from the tunnel and be able to shoot a ball and it gets in, like, that's right. unheard of. I think it elevates it for sure. But it could also ruin it on the same token because no one else can ever do that again. I He's mean, setting unrealistic standards. I, I mean, to be a goat is to be a goat. So. Hey. I feel you. I definitely feel you. Speaking of which, let's talk about Becoming Noble. Congratulations. Yes, what can you tell you. us? I'm so excited. It's a project that we have worked on for over seven years. Um, it's a labor of love, and I'm just so excited to be able to tell a story that is so important about a young girl just trying to figure out her life. And in the midst of that, she goes over to her homeland, and she finds out she's royal. So she has to figure out if that's something that she even wants. Um, and I'm just glad to be able to like not only act but produce a story and be able to give people who inspire me and that are looking for a chance an opportunity it's not just about me being in front of or behind the camera it's about giving people opportunities as well and I'm producing with my mom as well so that's fun that's <laughs> such a fun project I love that it's such a female empowerment project right we especially need that right now especially yeah. after the overturning in the Supreme Court how are you feeling yeah I mean um, I, I try to take it one day at a time um, and the world can get really dark if you think about it. So I try to try to find levity in the darkness and try to be the light in the darkness, but it's devastating. Um, I was at the CAA Amplify conference this year and it was brought up and I was brought to tears because it's so heartbreaking that we can't choose what we want or what we need for our bodies and our lives. and, and you just hear all these stories that people are putting themselves at risk because they're not being listened to and they're not being heard and they're not being seen and that breaks my heart but I hope some change happens because we need it. I'm on the same page as you. I think the only hope that I have left is number one, we're bonding together as women, exactly. right? And number two, we just passed a bill that we're going to protect at least gay rights. Yes. So at least there's that. There's yeah. something to there hold has on to. There to be something. I don't understand why we can't just live in a world where we all mind our business. We all have our own opinions. Yes, I may not agree with your opinion, and your opinion may very well be wrong. But as long as there is a certain lo like level of love and respect um, and just... Being a good human, I think like we, care. yeah, like human care, yeah. we can get somewhere. I love that. Thank you so much and have so much fun in there Thank tonight. Thank you. So nice Thank to see you. you. You too.